All right, what we have here are uh, three motherboards uh, that are compact F700 motherboards sent to us by a user and a Dell Vostro board. Um, with this Vostro board, you can see that it has the same chipset on it as the DX, uh, not DX, DV2000 and some of the higher end uh, TX series laptops and also the uh, Dell D620s and D820s and 830s. Um, so what we're going to do is this is pretty straightforward NVIDIA reflow on this one. Uh, it says flashing lights won't boot, no video. A uh, pretty common issue with this is that the internal connections have gone out. So we'll move this off to the side. But with the, with the uh, F700 boards, we noticed that this chipset looks like a 6150 chipset, but it is actually a uh, 6100 series. So we're going to have to treat that one a little bit differently. Uh, and every single one of them has the same chipset. Every one of them has the same chipset on it. And we can also tell that uh, when you're getting boards, and you can tell this is an original board that has never failed. Um, this board is actually a board that has failed. And this is an HP remanufactured board. This is how they refurb them. So you can actually tell that this has been refurbished by HP because they did that. Either they refurbed it in the actual uh, service center or they sent it out like that to begin with. But the original boards that never failed, uh, they had just pinning on the sides or they didn't have pinning at all. And this one right here doesn't have pinning at all. So uh, we'll just go from there to uh, reflow these, but we have to treat these chips a little bit differently. Um, then the other ones to get them done, as we can see that the chipsets, uh, the chipsets don't have the heat sink on them and the, uh, processors are gone, no memory. So we're going to have to do this, uh, testing of these boards with our components, but, uh, when the user gets them back, they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to, uh, burn them in themselves and apply their thermal compound themselves so that's kind of a tricky situation we do that here just as a courtesy so when you're sending anything in you should have the memory processor and the heatsink fan so that uh, everything can be done at one time because what happens when you do the uh, heatsink and you pull it off or you don't put thermal compound on it and when you do put the thermal compound on it if you don't burn it in it doesn't get the voids out so you have to do that to make sure that everything's good with it but we're going to reflow them and then test them and go from there and see what happens so what we're doing differently with these boards uh, is we're actually uh, going to get our cam closer uh, not a big deal, but you know, it's something that we do. Uh, this one's actually going to be closer on this one and closer on this chipset. And then what we're going to do is allow our exposure rate to be higher. So uh, we're going to have more exposures on it. And uh, instead of the two or three minutes that we typically run, we're going to run for about five minutes. And um, it's going to be at the same heat. Uh, it's going to be it's the same uh, tolerances as all the others. It's just going to be more exposures. And um, it's going to be closer. So we're going to do that. And then after we're done, uh, I'm going to have to look for an AMD chip to see if we can't get it to turn on. But uh, we'll do that one and then go to the three other boards over here and just uh, try to get them all done. So we'll do those, we'll reflow them, and then uh, we'll test them out and see what happens. Okay, so we have the uh, four boards done. We're going to let them cool down. And lucky for us, another customer sent in a DV6000 board. 
So what we're going to do is uh, use the processor off of it with some of our shop RAM to see if we can fire up these three boards here and uh, go from there. So uh, we're just going to let these cool down. We're going to reflow this one as part of the process and then let it cool down separately and uh, go from there. Okay, so for our first board that we we're going to test, says wire needs wireless fix video okay we're just gonna have to skip this board because there's no way for us to uh, test the uh, wireless we'll crank it up to get the serial number off of it and make sure everything's good but besides that we're not going to be able to uh, test for the wireless but we can get the video just to see but user stated the video was already there so it's not gonna it's gonna defeat the purpose but just for documentation we'll get the serial number just to be sure so we have everything hooked up we'll just uh, push the power button without a fan we're not going to have very much time but uh, we're just going to make sure that everything starts up and we have the uh, lights and we're just waiting on video to sync we have video so we're going to turn this off and uh, document the serial number real quick and then go for it. Alright, we have our second board here. And uh, we're just going to turn it on see what happens. And we have video. So we're going to go into the BIOS and see if we can't get that uh, serial number. There we go. Alright, so now we'll move on to our third board. So we have our third and final board here uh, booted up. And there's our serial number and everything. So we'll go from there and uh, say that these are working.